Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One. We are an online educational community for people who want to get really, really good at Photoshop. And we're going to look at five of my favorite brush tips. So these are little shortcuts and workarounds for working with the brush tool. One of the best ones I think is on Mac, you press control option on a Windows PC, you would press right click alt and you get control now over the, the size and the hardness of your brush. If you drag up and down, it controls the hardness. If you drag size to side, it controls the diameter. So up and down controls the hardness or softness of the brush and left and right controls the size. That's a super handy one. All right, next, if you right click anywhere on your canvas, up pops a version of the brush picker that you'd normally have to go up here to the options bar and get. And you have all these different controls. And when you're done, you can either just click off to start painting or you can hit the return or enter key to make that happen. Hey, another tip while we're up here is this little gear up here. Now you are seeing the little brush tips by default, but you could actually ask to see the stroke thumbnail. If you prefer to see that, it'll give you a different view so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like as you click on different brush sizes and things like that. Now, one of my most used brush tips, <laughs> well, you know what I mean, is, to change brush sizes, let me put the brush off the canvas here so you can see, is to change brush sizes using the bracket keys on your keyboard. The left bracket key makes the brush larger. The uh, right, excuse me, the right bracket key makes it larger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. These are found just to the right of the letter P on a standard QWERTY English keyboard. So right bracket bigger left bracket smaller. And lastly, this one's particularly handy. If you're working with the brush, and, and you can see right now my foreground color is black, and you want to change to the yellow color that's here, uh, all you have to do is hold the Option key. Your brush temporarily changes into the eyedropper, so you, now you're painting with that color, or your Option click and you're painting with this color or option click and you're painting with that color. So option on Mac, alt on Windows, your brush temporarily changes to the eyedropper tool so you can sample any color that's already in the image that you have open. Well, there you have it, guys. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, we have over 600 full-length classes on Photoshop, Lightroom, all, some of the Adobe apps, you know, all the cool Adobe apps, and uh, photo photography, and lighting and stuff like that. Go check it out at kelby1.com. Take the 10-day free trial. You can start learning today. Thanks, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.